What's up YouTube? My name is Ashley Flores. If you are new here and you are here to watch the Here Comes the Sun Alphalete launch, which is gonna be April 16th, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's gonna, of course, include Amplify. And then it's also going to include these cute new sweatsuits. I will be reviewing everything and showing I think I have all the colors of everything actually. So I will be showing all the colors, um, going over squad tests, uh, comparisons, um, anything that I think that you need to know before the launch. I will also of course put my body stats down below and I will also put timestamps so that way if there's a particular item you wanna see, you can just click the time next to it and it'll take you straight there. I will also put a squat test percentage down below. I try to do that with every launch so that way you know. Um, and what else can I think of? If you do shop, please use my sport code, which is Flores. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Fun fact, if you have trouble with um, camel toe, <laughs> uh, you could either try doing it panty liner or you could take one of your bra inserts. You wanna fold it down and then cut, and then you put it in that little like pocket in your underwear and it helps so much. So that is like another little secret that I just started doing. Um, Granted, sometimes they're like a little thick, so I try to use like the thinner portion of it, but little secret, okay, time to go. <laughs> okay, first up, we have the Amplify leggings. This is going to be color Blue Moon. All of the Amplify launching is going to have that ombre look, which you are going to see here, how it goes, fades into a darker color. Um, I personally love it. Some people I already know are gonna be like, ombre is so old. I love it, um, but anyways, I have the camera down below, but I will still be talking, so make sure you have your audio on, but that way you can get a closer up of the actual leggings the item that I'm talking about. So, these are the Amplify leggings. If you've ever heard anything about Alphalete, it was probably about the Amplify leggings and how they are the holy grail. They are high-waisted, very, uh, very like snatched waist without digging into you. Seamless, so there's gonna be no front seam. There's going to be a butt scrunch here. Just be careful when you pull it up. I like to pull mine up from the sides and then pull up versus here because the seam down the butt is gonna be very um, sensitive. And then all of this stuff has the knitted logo so that way you don't have to worry about when you wash it. And then they are very tall girl and short girl friendly. Um, I am 5'3", and I'm able to pull mine all the way down. Um, even if you were probably, let's just say for fun, 5'10 or something, I believe because of how stretchy the fabric is, you could for sure pull it down. Like I could pull mine down over my feet and be fine. Um, but actual physical length, uh, because it's so compressive, I don't really know. I would say probably more of a full length, which I think is seven eighths, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yes, high waisted. I think I already said that. This is color Blue Moon. One thing I did notice though is that the Blue Moon sports bra doesn't exactly match the Blue Moon leggings, but yeah. Okay, squat test for the Blue Moon. Let's do some squats. Bend over, let me look in the mirror. Okay, so one thing I've noticed about Amplify, and I've had a few people notice as well, is that the fabric definitely feels a little bit thinner than the first launch ever. I think it's they maybe switched manufacturers or something, but with that being said, it hasn't caused them to be more sheer. I just feel like the fabric is a little more silkier, even though it's still very knit. Don't get me wrong, it's a knit fabric, but it has more of like a sheen, silk look to it. So in certain lighting, it will look as though it's see-through, but it's not actually see-through for some colors. Um, the yellow in this launch is see-through, I will say right now. But this one down below, don't forget, I will have all of the squat test percentages. Uh, I'm gonna start showing you other colors now. Okay, so speaking of the yellow, this is the color Honey. Um, honestly, now that I put it on, I don't think it's as see-through as I thought it was. Um, there was a yellow color probably, a f I don't know, maybe even last year, it was called Lemonade, I think. Uh, what was it called? I think it was Lemonade. Um, but that one was sheer as heck. Like, I was like, do not get it. Um, this one actually, like, I think I spoke too soon. Like, I probably still wouldn't do legs in it, but I would feel fully confident going in, doing a back day and doing like some bent over rows, um, but still not full on, like I would say. 60%. I will put all of the Amplify colors right here for the leggings. 
Now we are gonna talk about the Amplify sports bra. This is one of my favorite sports bras. I love how compressive it is. It has removable paddings here. It also has a scrunch detailing. So the leggings have a scrunch detailing on the butt. This one has it right here in the front. It is extremely chest friendly as in complimentary. Uh, I feel like it makes everyone look good. Um, this is going to be a crisscross back Again, super supportive. I would say it's a high impact bra. Some people may disagree with me. Um, if you were in between sizes, I would recommend sizing down. Same with the leggings. I would size down into the leggings too if you were unsure. Um, I wear a size extra small in everything launching. Everything I'm a size extra small. Um, and I would say that that was my true to size. The first time Amplify ever launched, I would say almost two years ago, I did a size small and everything and it was just it was just a little too big for me. Um, so keep that in mind if you're in between sizes, size down. Um, back to the sports bra though, it is not adjustable. Everything is fixed. It's going to be the same polyamide, elastin, polyester, knit fabric that the leggings are. Just a little bit thicker. Um, you don't have to worry about it being see-through. And I think that's it. <laughs> I feel like I'm like blanking because so many people already know about Amplify, but I feel like I also need to tell you guys as if you've never bought anything Amplify from Alphalete before. Um, everything Amplify wise, how many times can I say Amplify? Like take a shot every time I say Amplify. Um, it's all moisture wicking. It's performance fabric to a T. It is my favorite 100% thing Alphalete has Amplify all the way, whether it's shorts, leggings, horse bra, whatever it is, it's always my favorite um, because I just feel confident when I wear it. And there's so many other girls who feel the same. That's probably why you've seen it a million times on your TikTok or YouTube or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. Okay, I'm gonna come all the way back here. So the next color that we have is strawberry. As you can see, uh, I matched a sports bra that matches with the bottom tone versus the top. So that way, when I come closer, it all makes sense to you. Um, but I'm going to be talking about, oh, did I already say this color? Did I say that this color is strawberry? This color is strawberry. They definitely favored the yellows and orange and blue this launch um, for the Amplify. Those are like actually the only tone colors that are going on. Um, I love it. Anyways, this sports bra, I don't really care for too much. Um, it took me a while to realize that. This is going to be the Trinity sports bra. It has a little keyhole here, but I noticed no matter what size I get, like that keyhole really doesn't show too often. Um, another thing that I've noticed and other people have noticed is that they changed the logo for all the sports bras from the back to the front. Um, I don't know if they did that because like the back, so when people are wearing an outfit from the front and the back, you could see that it's Alpha Elite. I kind of prefer the logo in the back, if I'm being honest. Um, but that's, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Um, back to this sports bra though. It is going to be very back, like sexy, super cute, open. I notice it kind of makes me feel like I look like I have a wider back though, just the way it cuts in. Um, it doesn't dig into your body. It just the cut the style of it. Um, very exposed back. This is supposed to be a high impact bra, but I honestly find it to be more of a medium impact. Um, it's going to be higher chest line. Like your cleavage is gonna be all the way down there. It has removable padding. Um, nothing is adjustable. Everything is going to be in a fixed position. It is also the same material as all of the other amplifiers. It's just gonna have 1% more of the polyamide. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Polyamide, poly polyamide. We'll see. And I will put all the colors right here. I forgot to do a squat test in these, so I am going to do one right now with you guys. We, oh, everything stays in place. Like you can do whatever the heck you want. These pin pants are going anywhere, anywhere. Um, also, bummer, there are no shorts dropping this launch. Um, anyway, okay. I probably have too much energy for this. I, I did the squat test, but like not in front of a mirror. Pause, hold on. She is solid, babe. This color is solid. The strawberry color is solid. You're good. So this color is Moonlight and it is probably, it or it is the darkest and the most solid color of them all for this launch. Um, it is definitely not see-through. It is 
Solid, 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 solid. Um, but now I'm gonna actually move the camera up so I can talk about this cute matching crop top. All right, so this is gonna be the seamless long sleeve. There are no short sleeves launching this launch. It still has that sunset ombre kind of inspiration. Everything Amplify does. It's going to have the logo right here. This one is not knit. This one is going to be like, a, I don't know, silicone. It's flat, um, but it's not knitted into it. Uh, I wear a size extra small in this. Like I said, I wear extra small in everything that's going to be launching that you're gonna see in this video. Um, there are no thumb holes, but the sleeves can be stretched out. Um, I just, I usually honestly stretch mine up. Now, I do want to make note that all of this amplifies stuff. It will show a little bit of sweat, especially the long sleeves. The long sleeves will show armpit sweat. Um, the leggings, they don't show crotch sweat or butt sweat too much, but they, it, there is a potential. Um, just if you're sweating a lot, do keep that in mind. But the one good thing about the ombre is like, if it gets darker, people don't notice as much because some of your outfit already gets darker too, in my opinion. Um, anyways, this top, you do have to wear a sports bra underneath. While I'm showing you this, I am not, I'm just wearing it plain. Uh, in the next video, I will show you what it looks like with a sports bra underneath because it is super thin. You can see the outline of the sports bra, but it does not have any built-in support. It's just meant to go over your sports bra. Oh, I will put all of the colors here. Okay. Okay, this color is Day Tripper. Um, it looks super light, but it actually surprisingly is not see-through. I am wearing nude underwear, so that could be affecting the rating scale, but yeah. I think we're Gucci. Um, I wanted to show you though what it looked like with the sports bra underneath. So as you can see the outline, especially with this sports bra, cause it does have that thicker double um, stitch lining. Again, I don't know why it's in the front, not the back. Okay, whatever. That would be like my critique. Like I don't like the logo in the front. I wish it was in the back still because then like I'm sure many other people, my my tops always end up sitting like this on my sports bra. So then it's like awfully, awfully. And it's like kind of repetitive. Um, but maybe that's what their thought process was with it being in the back on the sports bra on the back of the leggings and maybe that's why I switch it. Who knows, but that would be like a critique of mine. Um, but that way you can see what the sports bra looks like underneath. And then I will put all the colors, did I already say that? All the colors of the long sleeve? Just in case, all the colors of the long sleeve here. Oh, really quickly, while I'm wearing the orange, I thought it would be a great idea to compare the, uh, colors. So this is going to be honey. This is going to be strawberry. This is going to be day tripper, tripper, tripper. Did I say day trooper earlier? Day tripper. Yay. <laughs> Last up of Amplify, but certainly not least the color ocean. Stunning. The, it's like literally this is, huh. I think this one and a strawberry are probably my favorite colors launching of the Amplify, but I say that and it will probably change tomorrow. Um, I am going to do a blue comparison since I'm wearing the last color blue. So this color is going to be moonlight. This color right here is going to be ocean. And this color is going to be blue moon. I don't think you could cross color these ones like the yellows and oranges could like you could easily probably wear one of the sports bras of the orange with the yellow and have it look great um but this one probably not so much because the shades are just a little too different really quickly i do want to let you guys know that the amplified tops or sports bras do pair super well with the oversized um here comes the sun sweat collection too or if you wanted to wear like some of the crop tops of the shorts over shorts or over the sports bras like it they all mesh so stinking well um so also keep that in mind like if you wanted to have this be a cute outfit with some air force ones giving you ideas okay so we are going to start the here comes the sun sweat collection, I guess. They didn't really tell us the name of it. Um, I'm going to start with the sun dyed V-neck crop sweater. I am wearing a size extra small. Um, they have the new logos now that are going to be stitched into it, kind of like, this reminds me of those military stitchings. Um, I like it. It's going to have elastic cuff here on the wristband and on the waist, but it's not gonna dig into you. It's just like, kind of hugs, I don't know. It, as you can see, it doesn't, it just stays. <laughs> I'm a chicken wing, chicken wing. Okay, anyways, um, I did look up the material. The material is 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Um, 
online, it says to expect it to shrink about 3%. Um, with that being said, I would say try to get your true to size for um, this collection. I wouldn't mind being a little more oversized than the top, but the sweatpants I think fit me super great. Um, but anyways, back to the sweat top. It again, it's gonna have that sun dyed, dipped kind of look where, I don't know, like as if you're, what's that? What is that word called? What is that? Tie dye, tie dye. It's like that tie dye kind of look. It is going to have that drop shoulder look, which I like. It's like that effortless kind of look. And then it is like a double fleece lining on the inside. So super soft. Um, I, it's not that my kind of material though that I feel like would leave lint if you wear a sports bra underneath and you take it off. I say that, but I'm not sure, but it's super, super smooth and soft. I will put all the colors right here. Next up we have the color Submarine. Super cute. This actually reminds me of the color from Elements where I was super bitter that they didn't have a crop top in it. But we have a crop top now, honey. And I honestly prefer this over elements just because the feel is so comfy, but it's so cute. And like, it still lets me have a little bit of shape. All right, so this is the color strawberry and it pops. It is definitely more of an orange than a red, um, but I love this, especially for this, for this summer. All these colors for the summer are so stinking cute. Um, but these are going to be the sun dyed oversized joggers. I'm wearing a size extra small. They are cuffed here at the bottom and they also have the stitched logo right here, the same as it does on the crop top. It is an elastic waist. It does have drawstrings that you can actually tuck in and hide if you don't want them visible. Uh, it has pockets, not super deep pockets. I would say it could still hold your phone comfortably. Um, if you can see where my fingers are pointing out, it's not anything deep. Um, they are flattering on the bum, like very flattering on the bum. They honestly remind me of, what's that brand, Jans? or like champion, champion those gray joggers that we probably all have owned once in our life. That's how this fit reminds me of. Just like super chill, relaxed, not too thick, comfortable, elastic cuffs at the bottom. It is going to be the same fabric, so expect like a 3% shrink rate. Um, if you do wear this to the gym, just understand that these, these this sweat outfit is not going to be sweat proof by any means, but I don't think that's ever stopped any of us from wearing sweats to the gym. Um, it is going to be a 30 inseam for length. So for you tall chickadees, I think it will probably be more like a little bit higher on your calves. Um, but for short girls like me, it can go all the way down to your ankles. I will put all of the colors for the joggers right here. Okay, so this color is called Golden Sun. To be honest, it reminds me, oh, hi, Nugget. Hi, do you wanna say hi to everybody? Say hello. Say, mom, I'm hungry as shit. Okay, so this color honestly reminds me though of like if you put black in a washing machine with bleach and like accidentally and just, it wouldn't be my first choice of color. Okay, so my camera died but I realized that this color isn't what I said it was. It's actually the color Penny. It's supposed to be brown and don't get me wrong, it definitely has brown tints to it, but like this orange with the brown, I, I'm not loving. Like I feel like this was me tie dye gone wrong uh, or like bleach gone wrong. I just feel like it's a little too much for my liking. That's not gonna stop me from wearing it, but it wouldn't be my first choice out of all the, out of all the other cute color combos. Um, but yeah, this was actually the color Penny. I screwed up. This is the color Faded Black, and you can never go wrong with black. Um, I got a little bit up close and personal so that way you could see the lighter wash in it. Um, but this light kind of makes it more visible. When I step back, as you can see, it's not as visible. Um, there also is like a faded black color. I didn't get it just because I, I liked this one better. Uh, same thing with the other two yellows. The other two yellows are Honey and Golden Sun. I didn't get those ones either just because I liked the more vibrant colors of them all. But now I'm gonna show you the shorts. 
All right, so this is the color Day Tripper. This is the color that I started this video out in on the intro. Um, these are these shorts. It's going to be a three and a half inseam here. It's gonna be a raw hem. It's gonna be an equal hem. It's not gonna come up on the sides, all equal. Same stitching here. Uh, same pockets as the joggers, as well as the hidden drawstring. I like sticking mine out just because I like the way that it looks. Um, I am wearing a size extra small in them. I would say true to size 100%. If you're unsure, you could literally go up or down just depending on how tight you want it. Um, I, oh, I already said my size extra small. Um, I will put all the colors right here. And then it is the same material as everything else, so 3% shrinkage rate, most likely. This is going to be the color Ocean. Um, and I also wanted to show you guys what a size large actually looks like. They accidentally sent me a size large, and I'm actually kind of bitter I didn't get all of them in a size large or even a medium because I like how like loose and fitting, not fitting it is versus the extra small that you guys have been seeing me wear. Um, so I would say maybe even just size one up if you want the crop to be like a little bigger like this versus the extra small that you've been seeing me wear. All right, this is the color Moonlight. I really like how subtle this one is as in it's not all in your face, super bright. You could wear it all seasons. Um, there also is a purple color. I will grab it right now. It is called Revolution. And I'm so bummed because I freaking, I got, I ordered shorts and, in the joggers and not the crop top, but it will be super cute with like a white sports bra, white crop top, white bodysuit, white anything. Um, black, maybe not so much, but yeah. I mean, maybe they didn't want to, maybe they're like, let's not set her up to look like Barney and purposely didn't send me the purple crop top even though I ordered it. Uh, now that I think about it, that's, they saved me, it's fine. But that, that, ladies and gentlemen, is it for this try on haul. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I love this collection. I had somebody ask me if they, if I prefer the solid or over the ombre. I honestly love both. I can't pick a favorite. Um, I think just for like the summer wise, I love the ombre because I've never owned ombre stuff. That's fun. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed watching. If you do shop, please use my support code, which is Flores. I love y'all so dang much and good freaking getting what you want. I know I, I hear your frustration when things sell out so quickly. I don't get it either of why they don't order enough stock. Hopefully that will, we'll see that improvement soon. Um, hopefully this launch even, but with that being said, go in prepared of what you want. After you watch this, write down the colors that you want, figure out your sizing. That way you are good to go because I would hate for you to miss out what you want. Okay. I love you. Catch you in the next one.